Welcome back everybody. This is Brad and this is going to be part two of distrust. Okay, now then, where do we live off? We are in the medical room where there was nothing. Uh, let's go over here to this section over here. It looks to be the mess hall. Remember, I'm going to try to start doing a lot more of these as we go, um, but if you guys know exactly any sort of games that you'd like to see me play, uh, shoot me a message and I'll be more than happy to either try to find the game or if I already have it, shoot up a couple videos. No great big deal at all. Ooh, actually, I'm going to go make her do that since it takes forever to unlock a door. Interesting, so I can put something in the stove. But what do I have? I've got coffee beans. Characters can eat raw potatoes, but it's better to cook them first. Yeah, let's go ahead and um, make some uh, potatoes. Let's see. What is that? Coffee. Now, no jokes because I'm Irish. I do like my potatoes. Okay. Sacks. Actually, I might as well. instant noodles, but I do have some coffee, so I might as well have him make some coffee, so it's allowing me to. Making coffee have a feeling of deja vu as if you've lived this moment before, or dreamed it. You feel like something bad is about to happen. Stop making coffee, you feel too uneasy. You feel silly, although you're an adult, you succumb to such superstition in the end. You wasted valuable supplies and grew tired because of the inner turmoil. Dude, really? Okay. Let's see what I got. Anything in here? Nope. All right. Let's see what's going on. Ah, there's a there's a generator. Let's move on to the next place. Let's see. Um, nope, nope, nope. I do need to go there. Uh, so let me go ahead and run here and bring her. Let me see. There was one place that actually had a bed. Because a dude needs to sleep, it looks like. Boom. how you have to sleep and rest in this game just so you could uh, pretty much do anything oh I guess I had not been in here before you go ahead and bring her over here too then there's a gas can in the debris an extra gas can never hurts anybody This room. On to the next. Nothing. Alright, so 
I got her over there now. She can come help out. Big crate. Does that mean I can? Yes, I can. I'm gonna chop up this crate. Okay, I guess. Ooh. And yep, you need to go to the bed. Whoa, whoa, hold on. See it. What is that? It's an anomaly. Uh, you start to fiddle with it. Somebody tried to play, tried to hide a set of lockpicks in the furnace. Now it's yours. Awesome. So that, I guess that's the big baddie. What is that supposed to do? Oh, there are, I guess there are several that are around me right now. Yep. Interesting. Well, there's not much that I can do. You are hungry, so I'm going to give you the potatoes. Uh. Well then, let's see if I can't Bring this dude in here. Come on, dude. <clears throat> so what? Like, aren't you wanting to come in? It's nice and warm. What am I supposed I guess I don't understand. Like, the, the anomaly is there. Is there any way to, like, stop it from doing something or what? Ooh, I must have lost my, uh, my gas can. That's interesting. I got a plank. I do not know how I'm going to get out of this one. Oh, I guess that was it. Uh, okay. Well then, uh, let me um, I'll run down this way. Well, no, there was a room that actually had some gasoline in it. Let's see if I can't find that one again. Um, I thought I saw one that I could use to fill up my gas can. I may not know which one it is. Definitely not the electrical panel one. Not the one that I'm in. Well, all right then, let's um. All right, out of reach. How is it out of reach?
All right. So, I don't exactly know what I should be doing, honestly. Um, so, honestly, let's probably come in here first. Warm up a bit while there's a little bit of a furnace. Before I go running off. Okay. Where's that? I can only assume that on the map, um, the red spot, this thing here, is the exit zone. But, you know what they say about assuming. Ah, zone exit. Let's see. I guess I was correct. It's locked. It has a digital lock, but someone has torn the wires. I could cut the wires off something else and attach them here. Hey, guess what? I already did that. I kind of figured that was going to be the problem. We're done. Zone one ended. It's pretty interesting, at least. Let us know what we're doing. Damn, what kind of place is this? This shit is clearly not of Earth. You are correct, madam. Ooh, where am I? Okay, well, I'm gonna need to go here then, aren't I? What? I do have a shovel, which helps out a lot. Dropped our warmth quite a bit there. Glad I found that shovel though. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I do have enough planks for that. I need to hopefully find another some more gas. Old habits die hard, especially bad ones. While these might enhance someone's mood, to also make them hungry. Okay. does not have a you know, snowed in area that might be closer. Where is that? Okay, so while you're doing that, you have a lot different. I understand, dude. There we go. But this looks like a meat locker. Generator. Bam, bam, bam. Do good. Let's see what I can find. Oh, okay. There's... All right. She looks like she's done. Character is... summary of every opened emergency door for the last month. Three doors were opened using a lockpick. Six doors were pried open with a crowbar. One door has no lock after being shot. Four doors were dug out from under snow. These idiotic recruits 
don't understand the value of things on this base and they can't keep track of their keys, so they just open doors by any means necessary. Oh my god, like noob door runners, I guess. Ooh, there's an axe on a table. Let me switch back over to her real quick and she's gonna need some food here shortly. Okay, what else is here? Is there, is there anything else in here? Hmm, I guess, I guess not. Okay then. Um, I thought there was something else in here, but I guess I was wrong. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and bring him up here to uh, help out. Instant noodles. I could live off that stuff. What do we got? Bag of trash. Awesome. Damn, I cut. I need bandages to stop the bleeding. Oh, well, I think I actually have some sterile bandages. Perfect. You might as well... Isn't that a stove right there? Or is it just going to be complete with the... You know... So. Instant soup, but I cannot use the stove. Awesome. Okay, let me see. Is there any way I could... Uh, spoil food, instant noodles, adrenaline, blah, blah, blah. Old pills. Might still be able to remedy a case of poison. And again, they could make a person sick. Oh, I didn't know I got another jacket. Awesome. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully I'll find another stove somewhere. Aha! soup. sleep under. What do I got? Okay, so this one says that it's locked. Let me, um, might be simpler to, ah, there's a bed in that one. Oh, nope, hold on. You don't need to sleep, so you can stay. We can do here and make some more of this. Uh, two, you need to go and Report to medical unit 378. Employees are complaining about a broad range of symptoms. We've never dealt with anything like this. An employee from Communication Center 4, Mr. Johnson, ate a tin can after going mad. I guess he thought he was a billy goat. Okay, what are you doing? You should be... Uh, I don't really want to do too much. Oh, she found a gun. Of course, the gun would be at the nightstand. <clears throat> yep, I know. Your stamina is down. <clears throat> there we go. Let's both take a rest. Hey, no 
attention to your silly fears and try to sleep. Oh no, what is that? Okay, that was interesting. I guess I guess having two people um, sleep at the same time is a bad idea. I know the anomaly is close to you, but you're in a place that has heat and electricity, so there's no reason to worry. Well, I mean, hopefully that just kind of goes away in the end. Classification Icy Sphere. This alien resembles an icy mass. It levitates and performs quick, chaotic movements. It also recoils from heat and avoids areas with temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius. Moreover, it absorbs combustible fuels and can quickly cause a power outage. Our scientists proved this during their tests. We will continue to study the effects of the anomalous object on the members of the staff who have been complaining about feeling cold whenever they're near the sphere. Alright. Okay, so she got some rest. It's his turn. Let's see, did, did my gun come with any sort of ammo? Ah, but bullets are not included. Never mind. So how exactly do I I bring it in here. I don't. I don't quite understand. I guess. I guess the, the the minus hearts above them is showing that they're losing some sort of interest in me. Maybe. Um, so I guess we'll see. Both of them are fully up and ready to go, but I do not know how to get rid of these guys. I guess they're just supposed to, you know... dissuade themselves, maybe? And just run away, or, or what? Because, I mean, that one over there... Yeah, that one over there disappeared. This one is still floating around, as well as this one. Yes, I know, an all way is close. Too bad it won't follow me into the generator room and just die. Ooh, I have, I have tools. I didn't know I could do this. Oh, oh okay. Um, I need to, re to repair it. Interesting, okay. So how do, how do I repair it though? Well, okay, I guess it's good enough and it's not allowing me to... Huh.
no idea if that did any good or not. But I don't know anything else that I need to do. I don't exactly know how to lure it into the heat or the light. Oh, okay, I guess I guess I did that. Okay. Alright, next up, uh, let's go over here. Let's, uh, let's try doing a lockpick. Maybe that's quicker than, uh, than, than that. So, let me... If I got two lockpicks, I might as well, right? this kind of lock, you can insert a master key in it and open it without damaging the key. It's a clever trick. Try the trick. Success! The door opens and the keys are undamaged. Awesome! Stock shelves. Of course I'm going to try to go. And he is done over here, so. First aid cabinet. I need to go find some place to start the generator, it looks like. Aha. And bloop. And bloop. Okay, okay but where is yours? Step ladder among the clutter. a new character, Casper Jackson. Touch the alien object. Those damned fireflies and hovering spheres drove everyone crazy and caused all of our equipment to fail. Although I managed to protect one zone, some of them are light sensitive. Others are heat sensitive. And still others, the electrical ones, die after consuming something that absorbs their charge. Two days before disappearing, Christopher made a device that activates when placed on the ground. It attracts the electrical spheres, which die while trying to consume it. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those devices, as the last few phototypes are in the second zone. I'm going to try going there. Yeah, that might be a good idea. a workbench. Ha ha! This is how you repair, huh? Well, interesting.
guess you're done over here, dude. Where am I gonna make you go next? There's a chemical room down here. Okay, so she's already using the keys. He cannot use the keys. There's a bunch of wood over here, but I'm not allowed to grab that wood. Alright, so what? Is there like nothing in here? Hmm. Alright. Did I already go on this side? Yes, I did. And of course I already went in with the bed. I think I did just get a chemical suit, so that means I'm going to need uh, probably put the chemical suit on before I walk in here. Suit, maximum protection in toxic environments. Okay. This will um, help them from the cold at least. Until I can find a furnace in here. There's no furnace in here. Let me see. I do have cigarettes. So I wonder if cigarettes will actually warm you up or not. If they don't, what are they good for? I can't see what that says because I have an achievement in it. Probably means, hey, I'm getting cold. Holy crap, really, guys? Okay, so in all actuality, I'm going to run back here. I can warm up a bit. Maybe eat something? Honestly, I have actually gone over my time that I had originally set for myself, but I want to beat this zone real quick. Um just so I can say I did it. Uh, but you know, before I walk out or anything, what is that? Anomaly trap. I did not realize I'd already picked that up. Awesome. Uh, sterilizing powder. I don't need any of that. Candy. Good for a quick snack. Let's see how much it brings my sati up. She doesn't need it. Oh well, I didn't mean to give it to him. to him. Oh yeah, I did. Never mind. All right, we good? We good? We good? Okay. Let's go back. I'm trying to figure out. I guess there's something inside this room.
those anomalies only seem to come up whenever I sleep. So the faster that you get to point A to point B without sleeping means the less chance that you have an anomaly, um, you know. Okay, let's see what I got. Um, might as well just use the key set. Picks are quicker than the keys. I mean, if the if I was these characters, I would find out which key worked on what door, and after it worked, I'd throw that key away. Right? Wouldn't that wouldn't that help? Just. But, but I'm just saying, uh, that's just me. Okay. There's why why what? I don't understand. Okay, um, well, let's, um, let's try to run over here. Because I'm guessing, I'm guessing you needed those chemical suits, and that's the only thing that you really needed to, um, to get out of this zone. Tell me, what, what, what people go up to a place that they know is going to be snowy, get their helicopter shot down, but they don't bother to bring some clothes that's going to be warmer than what they have on and maybe a light jacket? Like, really? A light jacket? Oh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's all chemical-based right there. Okay. What I figured. Let's get this taken on. Boom. And we're gonna lockpick this. Man, they at least should put something in the chemical room since you know you had to get the chemical stuff. Yeah. Yes, it's cold, but no reason to freak out. Come on. Hold on a second, I might want to go, um... Because we're all going to need, they're gonna, both going to need to be able to sleep, and they're both going to need warmth. Because as it stands, um... Girl's life seems to be going down pretty hardcore. Um, what is this? Chili Blaine, reduce the stamina, warm up the character, and move the... Effects. Reduces health. This character needs sleep. Yeah, I know. have to take turns sleeping because it's like last time if you put them both in there sleep it's not good <clears throat> did I look at this already yes I did okay Don't like heat, I could lure to a cold building and then warm it up. Oh, okay, I see. I see now. Let's put this. So you're supposed to be able to kill the fire, get him into a building, and then light it on fire. Ooh. Yeah, I know, dude. 
ahead. These guys hate heat. Oh, there's the one with the light. a way for you to like just like switch stuff off just so you can try to get them in because like standing around just kind of sucks I mean I could try um, just booking it but I don't know how fast these guys are this ice one here that bothers me because if I go out there and I can shine my light at the black one and uh, he might disappear quicker that way. This ice guy here, he's not going to do that. I don't have anything like heat wise to uh, help with that. First day, her, her stuff was so low. So let me. Uh, multitude of illnesses. Do I have a first aid kit? Yes, I do. Might as well. Boom. Did the ice one finally go away? I think so. I'm gonna do. Bam, and I am going to hide tail it. She is booking it. Chemical suit and all. All right, we're gonna leave. All right, well that is zone two, everybody. The further we go, the worse things become. The air in the zone is different. Things, strange things at the entrances. She got to push one. Let's have him push one. Bloop. Oh man. Bad move. Guess I gotta give him some pills. Don't need those chemical suits anymore. Let's see if I can't find the quickest way to someplace. Guess this would be it.
All right, guys, I'm going to call it a, a day right here, and um, I'll get back into it at a later date. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.